think that the technology figured things out. So let's look here. Make sure that all of the sound is all good. Let's check. Doing excellently. Fine. Let's just finish this. Get that out of here. Good. And get this. So what are we doing today? Well, yesterday we finished collecting all of the hard drives in the game. Well, most of them. We didn't collect the fix this event once. Uh, sorry, let me just clean up this mess. Really need to do something about cable management. Um, at some point, maybe. One other thing, just a sec. Alright, I think that'll be better. She looks terrible. <laughs> Hang on, one other attempt. Just go back to the way it was. We'll have to put up with it. All right, um, the cable is just sliding along here. So anyway, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that can hear that. So, what are we doing today? Well, I want to look at the steel production. So we have all of the alternate recipes, and um, the theory is that there is some combination of recipes that either means that we can produce a lot more of the steel material from the same input or that where we can reduce the number of buildings that we have to put down significantly or something like that. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of planning um, for that. So the first thing that I want to do is just put together what it would be uh, if we use the standard um, recipe, right? So what are those production lines? So steel, no, steel pipe, let's start with that. So in the constructor, uh, produces Um, presumably 30 iron ink, 30 steel ingot per minute produces uh, um, 20 steel pipe per minute in a one constructor. Okay. And if we look at this, uh, four times 15, 30, 60. Right, so look at this 60 steel ingot produces 15 steel beam per minute. One constructor. Right, the steel. Okay. Um, make sure that's right. Yes. And then if we look at the steel ingot, this is where the interesting stuff comes in. So this is where we get lots of options. But the first thing that we're going to do is just say 45 iron, iron ore and 
45 coal produces 45 steel in So this is the reference point, right? And it looks like there isn't a lot of flexibility in this, but there's a lot of flexibility in this, right? So let's take a look at some of the alternates. So in this case, we would be using petroleum coke. Now, I don't think this is really a good option because we're not going to just have access to petroleum coke and sort of pinning one production line to another in this fashion, probably not the best. So, oh, you can actually add some of this to, to do this. All right. Okay, so one other alternate recipe that I'm actually kind of interested in is this one here. So, for example, we can take two iron ingot and so hang on, what, what are the rates? So it produces 60 per minute, right? So presumably it's still in the foundry. So this is the other one. So in one foundry we produce 60 steel ingots from 40 coal and 40 iron, iron ingot. Right? And then we would either do um, 30 iron ore produces 30 iron ingots <coughs> per minute in one smelter. But I think there's another recipe. <coughs> take a quick look at this so there's the standard recipe there's also the recipe where we combine it with copper now I'm not sure if that's a good idea that's bad but I don't think there was anything bad shown on there all right I need to be more careful with that those were my emails um, Okay, um, so it's nodes, we have coal and iron ore, right, okay, let's turn off this. Why does it say 9,000, oh, 91 of 97, okay. So this is where we were yesterday. We put our little drone over here and then we have this. Now, question, what is copper? But only one. And this would require an equal mix of copper and iron ore, and then produce five. So I think this is more for, let's say a location where you have like a bunch of copper ore and a bunch of iron ore and you're just trying to focus on iron it's a way of including that so i don't, don't want to do this but this is actually very interesting so seven iron ore and four water produce 13 iron ingot per minute at a rate of 65 per minute so we'll close this Produces sixty five ingots per minute in one refinery, and the 
question is from what? So seven. Oh, but what are the per minute rates? So six divided by thirteen times seven, so thirty-five ironing it. Sorry, I do. water produces 65 iron ingot per minute in one refinery so we divide 65 30 meter this essentially produces five Say here. So if we would divide 65 by 13, then we essentially have to the basics. So then we can multiply by these ones here to find out what the rate per minute is. So 65 divided by 13 is 5, so 4 times 4, four, four times 5 is 20, 7 times 5 is 35. So that's this recipe. So that's quite interesting, I think. Because then essentially we have 35 iron ore producing, so it's almost doubling the rate of iron ore that we can sort of put in. Um, and then we just um, multiply this, uh, like we take this reduced rate of coal and produce lots of steel ingots per minute. Right, let's see if there's anything else. Steel ingot. Okay. So this one we just looked at. No, we looked at this one. Let's see. So, oh, this is the other one. So and then there's this compacted coal that we could do. So let's see. Is there any sulfur near this? sulfur. Well, I mean, let's turn on more of it. There isn't a lot of sulfur. Now, this is kind of interesting. Because there's a sulfur right here that you can use to feed some of this. But the thing is that it's sort of one for one, and you don't get a lot of sulfur um, overall. Pure sulfur up here. So I don't think the compacted coal is is like a brilliant idea because it's sort of a well. It essentially means that we can get. So we only really need three sulfur per ten steel ingot. So we only need half the rate of compacted coal. So you can boost these. Like we have, we're going to have three times 720 iron ore. Right? So if we go three times 720 divided by 2, we'd essentially need to find 1080 sulfur. And you can get 600, 1200, you can get 1200 from right here. Right, 
so let's at least consider it. <clears throat> let's see. We'll see if, if this recipe down here so it only produces 37 and a half per minute. Whereas this one actually produces a hundred. Oh, petroleum coke. This one produces 60 per minute. So this is actually a lot slower. And this only produces 25 in December. I think this is this is not really that good. Plus, there's not a lot of sulfur. Now, I do actually want to have a quick read. Let's see what this compacted coal is all about. Fine back powder, compacted steel ingot. Ah, you can use it to produce turbo fuel and heavy oil residue, turbo heavy fuel. So what I'm interested in actually is seeing if there's a um, What happens if you feed this in? So it produces about twice the rate. Actually, no, it, it just reduces your consumption. So it has a much longer burn time. So it's not really that interesting. Like if it, for example, just made these things output more power, then it would actually be interesting. But, you know, compacted coal just lets you essentially have more of these coal generators. I actually want to see, um, just want to see how turbo, how turbo fuel works. Fuel. Okay, so turbo fuel. Fluid per minute is four and a half. I think this tells you burn time is just a lot longer again. So it doesn't really go faster. It's just that it like doesn't consume as much. This seems to be fairly equivalent. What would be cool is actually if this allowed you to, you know, output more power, but it doesn't. All right. So I don't think that we're going to do this compacted coal because it's. You know, it, it, it actually will make the production far more complicated. Oops. It's not going to make it simpler. Whereas this one, you know, we get 65 iron ingot. So rather than doing this, we do this. So instead of getting 45, we get 60 steel ingot per minute. Now granted, we have to put down these refineries, but each of them produce 65 iron ingot from just 35 iron ore. And then we are essentially capped by the coal rates. So we 
reduce, significantly reduce, reduce our coal consumption and significantly reduce our iron ore consumption. So I think we'll go with this sort of setup. So yeah, I think that this is going to be the way that we set it up. Um, and then we just have to figure out what rates we want to use here. Um, so if we look at like what's going to be the thing that sort of limits us, I think it's going to be this call. Because we essentially have, uh, it's called source material. We have twenty one sixty or twenty one sixty. Standard recipe is coal into coal. <laughs> so we could also produce it from wood and biomass, but that's not going to help anyone. So this is just like mining. All right. So if we look at this. So 2160 coal, if that's the limit, um, then let's scale this foundry. So 40, 2160 divided by 40, 54. So we can have 54 of these foundries. Um, times 60. So we'd be getting 3240 steel ingot per minute which is massive and it would consume 2160 coal um, and yeah then let's see what we can do here so 3 2 40 divided by 20 so we could could have 162 of these constructors. No, hang on. Go divided by 30. So 108 of these or essentially 54 of these on the back of that. So if we go 108 multiplied by 20, so then we'd be at 2160 steel pipe, which is amazing, actually. Oh, yeah, 2160. 2160 steel pipe, and we'd have, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and it would be consuming 3 to 40 steel ingots. this would be 3 to 40 as well uh, 54 times 15 810 steel wow that's so much worse but yeah this goes down by 4 and this only goes down by 1.5 which is why this dynamic exists Kind of want to be one 
steel beam this is 4 over 1 so I'm pretty sure a steel beam is 4 yeah 4 ceilings so that's why we see this difference right because essentially 3 to 40 So then we have to multiply 54 by 40. 54 times 40. So 2160 again. 2160. Yeah, because it's um, it's one of each. Um, and then in this refinery, so we have to divide 2160. 65. So 34. This is going to be over capacity. This is going to be consuming 2160 from times, what is it? 35. 1163. interesting so we actually even need a lot less iron ore I wonder why there isn't some way of using the compacted coal in this step because essentially we don't need a lot of iron ore, we're going to be mainly limited by coal. But, I mean, there's no point in feeding this foundry compacted coal because it's not going to work. I mean, you can use. Actually, let's, let's do the calculation. Um, steel. Let's do the calculation of what kind of rates we could achieve with um, compacted coal. So, I mean, in this case, we'd be limited by iron ore. Six goes into ten. But yeah, let, let's see what this would produce, and we'll just use whatever lo is locally available. So, okay, so this is one option. So... Because it's 37.5 divided by 10 times 6, 22 and a half. 22.5 iron ore and so times 6 would be times 3, 11.25. So what we'll call this one is um, iron. No, okay. We'll 
go here. Source material. Still in your permitted. So, and then this compacted coal. Right. Open codex. Okay, it's five of each. So we have 25 coal, 25 sulfur, 25 coal, okay. 10 coal per minute in one silver, okay. in one foundry. So um, yeah, we have these rates of that stuff available, and then we have 600 plus 600 plus 300, so 1200, 1500 sulfur per minute. This one to um, let's just scale that one to the maximum. So twenty one sixty divided by twenty two and a half. So we could have ninety six of these foundries, which would consume twenty one sixty iron and produce. Uses 3,600 steel ingot per minute and 96 foundries, right? And then, if we need to produce 1,080 compacted coal, oops, 180 divided by 25. I didn't really want to do that. So, this would be 44. Assemblers, and it's going to be over capacity. Um, and then we multiply this by. Well, I mean, it's all going to be thousand and eighty. So in terms of the production rates, this is actually about 10% better in terms of just raw steel output, given the source materials that are easily available. But you do have to go to three source materials, plus you have to make use of sulfur, which is fairly rare um, in terms of how frequently it's available. Um, and this is actually going to be far more space intensive, right? So we have to put 44 assemblers compared to 34 refineries um, and nine, 50, 96 foundries instead of 54 foundries. Actually, we should calculate the water usage. Um, 34 times 20, 680. It's not a lot of water. Um, but yeah, like, like you also need um, water in this case. Six water. 
So I mean, those are the two options, right? Now, interesting question. Well, I mean, there's more coal over here. You could also ship it in from here, right? This might actually be an interesting location for a steel fa um, steel factory. Although you wouldn't be able to get all of the coal here that you need now, but maybe I only enable. Yeah, there isn't any more coal right here. Yeah, so so those are the trade-offs. We'll probably. So how is this other one limited? This one's mainly limited by the coal. 2160 coal. So I mean, you know, you can always ship more from over here and then for the same number of buildings, you'd actually get more. Actually, one moment, I have to take a break.
I was thinking, like, what if we just see what the recipes are like if we assume that it's I and all limited over here for this other one, this one. So how much could this produce with 2160 iron ore? So let's look at that. So it's 7. So it would be 2160 divided by 7. Divide this by six, it's 535. Okay, so it'd be 2160, 2160 divided by 35. Right, so we could actually do 62 here, 62 refineries that are over capacity that consume 2160 iron ore. Essentially, four thousand and eleven iron ingots. Let's say twelve. No, eleven. And let's divide by sixty-five. And what? Multiply it by four. Sixty-five divided multiplied by twenty, and twelve hundred and thirty-four water. water. Right. And then if we have four thousand iron ingots. Divided by two and then multiply it by three. <laughs> Four thousand and eleven divided by two multiplied by three. Yeah. Four thousand and eleven divided by two multiplied by three. Six thousand and sixteen. <laughs> Steel ingots. Actually, do four thousand eleven divided by forty? Oops. So we essentially would have a hundred foundries here. Consuming four thousand and eleven mining it and four thousand and eleven coal. Coal to produce sorry, one oh one. Um time sixty to produce six thousand and 6,017 7 steel ingot per minute so there you go that's what this would be so this would need 4,011 coal and 1, 2, 3, 4 water Which would allow us to essentially multiply 
these production rates here by three. Which already ridiculous. Uh, because of the number of constructors involved here. This is the final form. Like this really is the final form, right? Imagine trying to do this in the, you know, using the standard recipe. You would just fall flat on your face. Like the multiplication here is essentially three times. Three iron ore make one steel ingot. No, three steel ingots come from one iron ore, and then about one and a half times for coal. So let's check. 2160. So we would have to source. This can all do 606. So this can do 2400 together. Um, so we would need all three. So this would involve uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18 power shots for us to do this. And we would probably want to draw a train line. To deliver this call. And it would need to have two wagons. Each for this call. question is, should we even go that crazy? Like, if we have 1440 steel beam per minute, like, this would be... If we divide this by 4, this would be... Well, I mean, this would be just above two full belts of steel beams. Um, do we actually use steel beams for anything anymore? Like what uses steel beams? Let's take a look at our production. Because maybe we just need to produce steel pipes. And if it's just steel pipes, then... I'm not going to scale that production because we already have 2160 steel pipes, which is way more than we probably will need. So let's go up to here and see where, if anything, the steel beam. I know that the steel beam is like useful for some construction lines. Right? And I know that we're getting this, but we're actually not going to be using this recipe. We'll be using a different recipe of this one, which uses um, steel pipes. And yeah, like this is the only place that the steel beams actually go. Steel beams just go to here and then they stop. Nobody else cares. So I don't really see a reason to go crazy with producing steel pipes. Like 2160 per minute is already way more than we probably will need of these steel pipes. Like we currently have what? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steel things. Now, we're not going to go nuts here. We'll just use the 2160 call. I'm pretty sure it was 860 water. Something like this. Alright, so... It isn't a very good undo thing in Notepad. Otherwise, I would. Hmm. 
This is a very nice number of steel pipes. So, okay, 3240 steel ingot is what we want to produce. Petroleum coke it would be a very, very nice rate. A hundred per minute. But we just don't have access to petroleum coke. Heavy oil residue. How do you make it? If you could make this from Could take crude oil into heavy oil residue, and then it would just be the polymer resin. What can you do with polymer resin? Well, I don't think there's a way back. So, yeah, you could go, we could dump this, and then. Goes into twelve and a hundred. It's so good um, in terms of the rates. So, is there any crude oil anywhere near this? No, there's a whole bunch over there. Ah, I'm already using this. And what about these? No, there's just some available over here, but nothing here. All right, I'm not going to do that then. It's always good to think about it. All right. Um, sorry, we're distracted. Um, steel. Get. Uh, here we go. Sixty per minute. So it's. Oops. This goes, this is 60, so let's go through 3, 2, 3, 2 40, do I have a 60, it's 54 foundry, see I can live with 54 foundries, it's still a lot, um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be, take 2160 of this and 2160 of this, pretty sure, um, Fifty-four times forty. Yeah. 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 So twenty-one sixty. Twenty-one sixty. Um, and then we just need twenty-one sixty on this guy. This is not going to be over capacity. I'm pretty sure this will be. Pretty sure this produces sixty-five. Twenty-one sixty. So you have 34. Um, and then if we look at this, yep, 65 per minute. Seven times five, yeah, thirty five. One, one, six, three. Okay. All right. This is going to be the plan. 
it actually should also you know look at the petroleum one um, so let's call this compacted coal alternative petroleum coke The petroleum coke actually looks like it would be really good. But um, we'll call this iron. And did we also have. Ah, we didn't put down the standard recipe. Oh, source material. This would be just divided by 45, 29, 16. So this would be in 48 foundries. So this is the standard iron ore based. Iron ore based. This is the one based on iron ingots. And this is the one based on petroleum coke. And this is the one based on compacted coal. And we're picking this one for our build. Because we have water nearby, coal, uh, we're kind of limited by coal, but we only really need to be producing this steel ingot, uh, sorry, this steel pipe, and this produces plenty of it based on the locally available source materials. So that's why I'm not that worried. Like the only other thing, this is three full belts of steel pipes. I know that it's used for a lot of input lines, but you know, uh, I think this is plenty. All right, so now we have to put yeah, something happened, and now my uh, it's probably me that's pressing the wrong button. Uh, that's too much. So, let's clear that. Uh, we don't need any of these, I don't think. Space it, we're not sinking anything. Well, we could actually sink the steel pipe. Pretty tempted to sink the steel pipe because um, then the production lines would just be going constantly. And the steel beam production, I'm not that worried about it. So, yeah, we will actually take three of these with us. Don't need that. Okay, so we need. 34 refineries. 34. Um, 54 foundries. And 
108 plus 54 is 112, 162 constructors. Okay, that's all we need here. Then, in terms of power, we don't need anything here. We will need probably 400 of these, and let's say 800 of these. Logistics, I think 2,000, like 1,000, something like that. Uh, probably like 500 of these. 500 of these. 50 of this. Now, pipeline. Let's say we need 2,000 pipeline. Although, we only really need, yeah, let's say a thousand, um, and let's say ten of these pumps. We're going to be doing the refinery on the bottom floor, so right, probably need like ten of these, and let's say forty of these, and let's say another hundred of these. So we should be okay. Um, merge uh, How many power poles did we take? I think we took 400. Yeah. And probably like 600 splitters. If we have. Uh, let's take it. We probably have like 300 or so. We have 34 refineries, 54 foundries, 162 constructors. That's about 300 um, production buildings. And each one of them needs a merger and up to two conveyor splitters. So that's why we'll go with this with a little bit of extra space. In terms of organization. Um, thinking about this. Do we really need any storage locally? I mean, usually we do put it down. So let's go with five of these. No, what? Two for the pipes and one for the beam, three of them. Yeah. So we'll have sort of two pipes interesting that you know this picture is different to it actually has two inputs and two outputs um, two of these and then the way that we're going to be, do transportation is actually through these drone ports so we need one two three for the steel pipes and then i'm going to say two for the steel beams so we're going to have five drone ports available then we don't need any of this. It's all good. Um, foundations. Maybe 2,000. 2,000. Something like that. And we, yeah, we're going to need like a 1,000 walls. Um, let's say like Um, snaps to foundations in the hex frame. Maybe we should use this. Yeah, let's use that. A thousand of these. Because it, it looks a little bit different and it's steel based, which is cool. Uh, let's say we need like 20 of these. Uh, we don't need this. Architecture. The other thing that I actually wanted to do was look at like famous steel factories. And it just takes some inspiration. I don't know. I mean, they all look just very rusty. <laughs> a 
let's say, iconic steel factories. I think I want like the pipes to you know stick out like from the refineries. Maybe what we do with this one is that we don't actually like we have it all on on one level and it just sort of progresses. Maybe that's the unique part of this one rather than doing a lot of verticality. I think that would be cool. Because these steel things, they usually, like you can see, they, they're not like a big box. They're like, you know, on the ground. Also see that. I mean, that's a little bit modern. This is probably hydrogen based. All right, I think that's what we'll go with. So, I mean, we can take a little bit of, say this industrial railing, and let's say 500 of it, like 100 of it, and say uh, 500 of this all right oh yeah roof now we're not going to need roofs here it's all going to be outside all right okay we have to deliver a lot of materials But we should drop off some of these other materials because we don't need things like this. We can drop off these things, All right? We'll go back over. Let's drop off those materials, and then we have to pick up. We need three for the call, maybe well we'll bring we'll bring six power shards, so actually. Um gonna scan these hard drives because at the end we were not getting it what's this call um we were not getting anything anymore so i'm gonna leave these two hard drives in case they ever add more things that you know we could scan i'm gonna take this because um you know it's for the chainsaw but i don't think that we need materials but we don't need this and I don't think that like we need these radio control units but I don't think we need supercomputers. Ooh um production one two three four five six six of these let's make sure we have what we need for both of these we should add a couple of lights 
um, mounted floodlight. Actually, I think this floodlight tower, like maybe 50 of these, I think that would be really thematic because, um, you know, it's outside. So we need, we want to see at night. So let's use the floodlight towers on this build. I think that'd be really cool. All right. Um, just because then I need to actually I think four of those will be fine. AI limiters. Oh, we will need, um, let's say one, two, three of these. So. Let's see. Reinforced cable concrete, copper sheet, silica, wire, Right, we don't need AI limiters. Definitely need this cable. I don't think we need circuit boards. But we do need the high speed connectors. We do need this. We also need the wire turbo motor. Yeah, 1200 of it. So 1500 will probably be fine. Um, Xenobash. Do we need any motors? Yeah, no, rotor, motor. Yeah, we need all of these motors. We need these rotors. I don't think we need the stator though. No, we can throw that away. I know that we need these turbo motors. I know we need that. Do we need rubber? Plastic. No, we don't need rubber. We will need power shots we also don't need this I know that we need this do we need heavy modular frames I hope we don't uh, yeah we do I know we need this I know we need this do we need modular frames um, yep. uh, do we need reinforced plates yep do, uh, screws I don't think we need screws uh, actually we will need screws Okay, even if we don't need screws, I'm going to take some, because some of these special buildings require it. All right, so let's start from the bottom and feed the thing. So, well, actually, when I say start from the bottom, do I mean that? I think we'll, the only thing we'll skip is concrete. Concrete I'll bring in my inventory and maybe a few of the iron plates as well. So we can at least put down some of the foundations. Um, but yeah, so how much plastic do we need? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to take a couple more. Then it says that I need... Um, Next one is the iron plates, which are available on this floor. Yeah. Um, how many iron plates? Ten thousand. <laughs> Five thousand with all of these. All right. So we need another five thousand iron plates. Maybe it'd be useful to have one of the drone ports like at the bottom, but then I'd have to get batteries down there. I don't really feel like doing that. I wonder if we're still moving over there. That's the iron ore facility over there. You can look at it in the distance. All right. I think today we might ready our construction materials. But not much else. All right. Here we go. The drones are not going anywhere. No destination. Uh, no destination. And no destination. OK. 
Okay, so let's start dumping materials. Now I should actually delete these things from my inventory because I'll leave the screws because they're not on my list. Because otherwise I have my whole inventory blocked, you know, the whole time. I'll leave the concrete, but I will delete this because it's not sufficient anyway. I'll keep the wires. If I'd done this before, we would have actually been able to grab a lot more. Right. Do I leave one of my wire stacks in my inventory? thousand in my inventory and then yeah I'll leave some in my inventory. Okay. Five thousand so put a few back. Right. Take this many and then what's next? I think we'll be fine on screws although just take this. These are reinforced plates now. Okay, I only need that's everything already. Alright. Um rotors. Tell me how many rotors. Okay, so I only need six stacks. Ah, okay. We'll have to get back to the rotors. to actually keep to like, like one full line of it. Right, we'll give that instead. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Okay, we'll grab 
like that much more. Right, next. Steel, I don't think that we need too much of this. So where's the steel beam? 4,000? I think this is part of the decoration. Since we'll be making steel beam over there, I don't think I'm going to take all of that. I'll just take like 1,200. And then how much steel pipe? Insane. Okay, we'll take everything that we need first. Plus a little bit more. Alright, um, then it's concrete. We're going to skip concrete for just a minute. Now, we will need this. We already did the wire, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, cabling. Now, we need a lot of cabling. Okay, so we need to get back to cables. Alright, make sure that we don't forget the concrete. plates and then we just put the modular frames in. I'm actually going to pass over the screws. Right. Auto save. Status. Okay, we've got the wire. We've got the wire. Okay. okay. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's probably enough. Alright. Um, these sheets, copper sheets, 2000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, next, I think these are status uh, motors. Now, 450. Why not? All right, so we've done the motors. So we next is the reinforced plates. Uh, sorry, the heavy modular frames. So we're getting close. So I should actually start filling up. Um, the first industrial storage of the other two drones so that we essentially even out the load. Although I haven't even done the concrete yet. So, anyway, alright, so actually let's finish filling this up. Oh, yeah, I think there was a little bit. Oh, no, that's it. Right, then we do the first of these storages, leave this in our inventory. Oh, I didn't put in the um, water production. So we need 660, 665. So uh, producers 720 water per minute in six. So we just need to add six of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
mean, it's, it's like 120 extra copper sheet, which is fine. It's like 60 extra verters, which is fine. And it's 60 extra reinforced plates. So, well, let's check. How many reinforced plates did we put in? So there's 300 here. There's 300 here, so 600. Yeah, so that's fine. And let's see. Rotus. Okay, we're still fine on Rotus. And the copper sheet is 3000, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, we have plenty. Alright, let's keep going. I don't think we need to change anything. Alright, then we put decay through. Well, I'm going to keep just a little bit of decay. to heavy modular frames. So let's grab those. some of the L clad in my inventory. All of it. That much. And then we'll put in these. Alright. So, we were up to high speed connectors. So let's go and grab those. Right here. Okay. 200 of those. Just 
need some turbo motors. Fifty will be enough. Yeah, a hundred. What else? Okay, that's the end. So, what did we skip so far? We brought this. We brought this. Pretty sure we brought that. No, concrete. We haven't yet. Motors, we've done, we've done those, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, we've done those, uh, we've done that, we've done this, done this, done this, we've done this, we've done plastic, we've done silica, we've done this, we've done this. This is just made up of copper sheets and iron rods, we've done those. We didn't take everything here, but that's fine. Okay. So now I just need to put in all of these materials. Okay, and then we'll put some into the second one. Okay, and then it's just grabbing concrete. There's no reason not to grab like full inventory of it and then go from there. Right. Um iron ore. Steel pipe. Alright. Oops. Let's take all of this. How much of the concrete did I satisfy by pressing that button? Some of it. So now we've taken everything. So now we go to the location and we start delivering the material to the location. Um, oh, that was actually one of the trains that would have been good to take. But actually, this train here is fine too. Cool, all right, so we'll make our way over there and then we can actually start the delivery of the building material. And then as we do that, we can set up the, the stuff now. I don't know how much iron plate that took that might plug up the system, but I hope it doesn't. We'll have to give uh, the iron plates and the concrete a dedicated um, dedicated location. Alright, looking forward to this. Yeah, I wonder how much we can do today. We've got about an hour and a half, so let's see. to admire the various coal production iron ore production it's just a massive complex ignore all the stuff that's floating around on the left we were just too lazy to clean that up that's the fuel generator that we put together. Joel working happily. Well, most of them are anyway. Oh, wait, that's the quartz. We don't want to go to the quartz. Um, where do we actually want to go then? I think that we want to make our way over here and catch one of these trains. There should be a way down, I hope. Well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um, 
So where is it? We put it down here. And right now we are like right here. So we need to keep going. F yeah, I think we just need to go forward in one of these trains. Let's catch this one. This will enable us to go over. Now, this one. We want to go over there. Alright. I think there's a way down over here. this of these guys. Hi. You have to die. That rhyme. Alright. Um. Got that one. Yeah, this is where we're going. So let's actually look and, and sort of think about where we want to put uh, various production lines. What's that? I think that's a tree. So that's sort of an open area. I want to stay up here just for a minute. Like we'll have to capture our water from here. So this, this plane here is also sort of available, but I, like, I really want like a, you know, I think it'll be fine. So we can use that as the interf as the edge. We'll have to cut down a few of these trees. But yeah, this is fairly flat down here, all the way up to here. So we'll sort of, you know, put all this, the, found, uh, the foundries here and then so on. Something like that, get the water into here. All right. This is not a very big space. space over here. That looks like a bigger space. Anyway, let's set up the delivery of the materials first. This first one, any undefined and let's say concrete. All right. Um, 
So then what we can do is just put some of this into here. Right. And then this will be iron plates. the pipe um, so copper oops, copper sheet and plastic okay so the first thing that you select seems to just get deleted all right. Uh, the drones. Um, all right. So then let's make this reinforced. Okay. Um, what else? In case industrial beam. steel somewhere else modular frame modular frame uh, rotor rotor uh, what else iron rod Probably enough. Like this is, yeah. Let's leave it at that. Oh my god! Really? Really? Um, what's in the frame? And we also actually, I'm not gonna put the encased in here. Hi. Just a steel beam. Oops. Defined steel beam, steel pipe in case industrial beam. Okay. Beam, steel pipe, and any undefined. Let's do cable. Modular frame as well. Fuse modular frame. Supercomputer. Done the Alclad. We've done this. Uh, the aluminum casting. Radio. 
control unit. High speed connected to. Alright, let's see how bad this went. <laughs> Why? Okay, did that take? Yes, turbo. the other one that we put in here. Oh yeah, the frame. Right, so that's good. And then here we will add the silica. Okay, that took. Right, let's take a look. Ah, oh, we haven't done the encased industrial beam anyway, I don't think so that we go here. Maybe we have. Um okay. yes, 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 yes. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. I think we're good to go. Right, what did that take? Yeah. And then this of course will be any 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 so in case we forgot about anything. have to deliver materials. And yeah, we can start building things. All the materials should be on their way now. I'm going to take a quick break and then I'll be back.
let's see what kind of materials are being done now. Okay, still rods. <laughs> we have a lot of rods to deliver. Where are they even going? Am I blind? The answer might be yes. Ah, they're going in here. Yeah, we definitely need some faster belts or more ports on this thing. It's good that there's only one drone that's like hovering. There's this two stacked right on top of each other. I don't know. What does it have in it? Mostly plates. It's not really helpful. We don't really need the plates. Alright, whatever. Um, I guess that's the stuff that we put in first. But yeah, it would be actually really good if these had multiple ports on them but anyway all right so that gives us a chance to actually think about these production lines should we let the landscape like dictate some of it i don't know about that idea probably you just have to all right that guy's out of here had a crash. Oh, no, it's just flying low. Ooh, there you go. Okay, now we've had a crash. <laughs> Went straight into the mountainside. Anyway, I think it'll be okay. All right. Now, we're still taking this out, and then we have to empty out all of these iron plates. And then this is just going to bring more iron plates, 1,600 more iron have the next drone. Should be coming here at some point. Why is there an exclamation mark? Maybe it's waiting for... Cannot unload. Ah, right. That's fine. Ah, look, we got a little bit of plastic. We should get too distracted by all of that. All right, so let's think about this. Now, maybe what we do is that we use, let's see. Um, let's use this guy. Like if we use this, then I think we would be fine. Like if we use this as the height that we start with, right? So we would essentially be grabbing the water from down here and then delivering it to up here. And we would put like the refineries in one long line here and so on. So I think that we will do that now. Uh, I think I want this to be like north-south aligned. Oh, straight north. Good. And yeah, on the the last thing is that we have all of the output lines. Um, then we 
have like the water lines come up here. We need two of them. Right, let's cut down this thing. Actually, <laughs> that was lucky. Um, This is going to be the input power for the factory. So then we can actually fly around here. Flower petals, all right. Cool, so yeah, this is basically where the refineries will go. So we'll have the water input probably bottom. So the refineries take water plus um, iron ore. Where is actually the iron ore located? It's like on this side and we're building like we're standing on top of this so the iron ore I think that'll look really cool if it like comes here and like climbs next to the water like just a whole bunch of stacks of it and then the coal will come down from up high be like dropped down and then I'll actually put down these foundations and have it run along the foundations as well. Then we'll have like the inputs stack, like the water inputs will end here. The coal, yeah, the water inputs will sort of come here. The coal inputs will, or the iron ore will come here and then the coal here. Um, and we'll just stack up the, in, and then, you know, we'll have to figure out how we distribute it here um, in a nice way. but. That's the input ports for this factory. It's all going to look very cool. Um, so that's the plan for that. All right, let's oops, put down a little bit more of this. There aren't actually that many input lines that we need here. Now the only thing with this sort of setup is that it's not easily scalable. Actually, well, we would just have to essentially just treat whatever we build now as one unit of production. I don't think we actually need to scale this to any more. Um, but yeah. Do I have steel beams in my inventory? No. No, I don't. Because then I would have done something else with it. All right. Um, I think I want foundations here. Why would it attach like that? Okay. So yeah, this is where we will have the materials get lifted along this sort of side. And then, say, zoom. So we'll have to figure out how exactly so we can do that now but let's figure out how the water is going to get here first space for the water. So how high does the water actually go up? Okay, so it would actually be below this, I think. Would it? Okay, I want, uh, want a way to check. So it would 
be better if this was one higher. Alright, so we'll put it down one higher. Let's check one other thing. Uh, water. No, there's a water well over here. If there had been a water well here, I probably would have preferred to use that. Alright, let's use this instead then. the speed at which they can come over here that matters now This one is going to be the leading edge. So we'll have the water come up here and then go over. Well, if this is the leading edge of it, then make sure to go one further. We'll just have one line of the resource extractors. So then it would be something like this. This is going to look like really solid because it's steel, right? So we're going to use foundations rather than sort of frames and stuff. And then that's the two of those. We'll have the production of the water hanging off this side. Come on, finish. Finish your stupid auto save. We'll have it like this. Something like that. So one of these takes up one and a half of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that. So we need seven of them, right? So we need about uh, 10 and a bit of these. Let's draw it like all the way over there. I think that'll be a better look. Draw this into the ground here. question is where do we want them to start? Right. 
So let's see where they can actually start. Auto extract. Can't afford. Not deep enough water. So I think it'll look good for them to start like on this corner. So we'll have one here. And then the next one is in the middle. slightly offset from the middle. Okay. And this one would start here. And then this one would be like slightly offset. This one would go here. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's actually enough water here already. Right, we have another drone that's delivering more construction materials. Um, so yeah, we'll have the water right here, and I'm actually going to put I think we'll put it like all the way to the end, main reason being that you know I want to be able to fly all over this. This is like already built for expansion thematically, you know. Right. So we want a few more here. Probably again, just draw it like into that. this whole thing up. So this looks like docks. I think that'll look good. Right. tiny corner, but that corner is important. We shouldn't miss corners. Right, here we go. Alright, and then let's fill in that little corner. Alright, I think that looks pretty cool now. Like the, that these foundations are incorporated into the ground. Like that. And now we just need to the same below here. Come on. Why? 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 Ah, here we go. We had it. Do it on that one. Hey, Mr. How you doing? Right, that's already filled in. Good. Okay. 
that's all filled in. that needs to be filled in as well under there alright let me shoot should be more careful with this stuff in the future. Alright, so that looks really cool. And on these two is where we will have the, um, the other two inputs come through. And they're going to be coming from the other bank. Um, this can actually go because, you know, we'll have the water pipes be like right behind this and then sort of go up here it's actually going to be difficult to well the top one would go into here and then the second from the top would need to go behind so that we can draw it up but yeah we'll figure that one out at some other point so let's get these guys power a two one two three four five one two three four five okay it's going to here one two three four five yep uh one two three four five all right and then have the um, don't know how far I want to draw this yet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it goes to up there. Right. Let's, there we go. I essentially want this to be above land. So then the other question is, should we put one of these in the middle? I think so. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, I know this is five, this is five, this is five. So it's 15 in total. So 15, okay, one, two, okay. So this would be the exact middle of it. So this is the input lines. And then really it's like it can go down a little bit here. Uh, all right, we'll have to find where exactly the uh, where that happened. Where exactly is the um, input. So let's put on these blade runners. Okay, there's an input. There's an input. A 
then the other one should be somewhere over here. Where is it? Hang on. How much of it do we even need? Okay, we only actually need two. So, I'm going to ignore this one. And only worry about... worry about these two inputs okay and then the call let's see it should be somewhere up there yeah so we'll draw this to ah so that means that we should draw that forward until it meets sort of this sort of height. And then we'll draw that over here. Okay, let's do that. This is the height that we're aiming for. Alright. And here we can probably use this or this. Probably that. going in that range. So we'll put this down to here. Actually, you know what? It'd be much cooler if the coal kept going. So get rid of this. It'll like go and climb this cliff right here. And then once it's above that cliff, it's whatever. And I'm not gonna carefully put it together, but it's it's just going to be like get all the way to the cliff. Um for the coal input and then it'll disappear up the cliff and then we can forget about it because nobody's gonna what matters is like that this bottom part here looks good. Doesn't actually matter whether things up there look good. So we'll never see it. Okay, and then this also goes to like right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Let's 
right in there. Now we have to think about what we want to do here. Because what we could do is we could make this the location where it goes up. But let's make this the location where we just lift it to the bottom of that cliff and then it'll lift all the way yeah so if we are like up here in my way, you're going to keep getting shot. There you go. Alright, so if we look at this. So we would be lifting sort of around here. Okay. Alright, I think this will work. goes all the way to the bottom here. This goes to here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. This will go to here. Then it will go to here. Aha. Uh shooting me. Alright, I think we're okay now. Is that a spider or something? Or is that the big guy? Alright, um... Right. And then this just needs to keep going. Uh, and then I think it's out of sight from it. Well, I guess how it gets to the top there still matters. Right, let's get this second one. Yes, 
Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll just draw it back by two. This will just be a bridge. Come on. I just want this corner. There you go. And this one here. Here we go. So yeah, this will be a bridge. Okay with that. Put something there, though, and there, and there. Come on, there you go. All right. Oh, we need the power. We need the power. We need the power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Makes sense. And that'll be enough. And then we can be messy up here. Because it's out of sight. This is, this is where that power goes, and then yeah, the coal will just get delivered to here, and then we are good to go. So we're going to have three coal things go back and forth here. All right, very cool. Then we have to draw something similar for the iron ore. If I had the um, materials available here, I would actually 
put it all together, but I do not. So, come on. Uh, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. cool, cool. So, let's get this to here. One, two, three, four, five. Go. And then this one just goes all the way to the end. And then we have the two coal mines here anyway. Right, this so this just needs to go maybe another ten. And then we're good to go. One, two, three, four, five. That was scary. <laughs> the drones like run straight through here. Alright. So that's good. And then want one of these. Come on. Alright, this is all good. Side. Yeah, well, good. Alright, so this is how the input material is going to work. Now, I could actually draw the conveyor belt. How much of it do I have? 200. Alright, let's put down the conveyor belts from over here. Alright, there's auto safe incoming. So let's see. So we will probably draw that thing right there. So then we'll go in in the middle. One, two. And then the other thing is that we'll have one of these on top. Alright, let's see how far we can draw this guy. That's as far as it goes. That's not acceptable. So we'll do this. Yep. So we need the material to come this way. So this will be interesting to figure out how this works. So this goes to the, well, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. So this belt needs to start like here. And this needs to be like there, right? So then we have to have like this.
Okay, so none of this is going to work. <laughs> um, so we need, ah, yeah, this is how that will work. Uh, Aha, now, almost. Right. But then we have a problem with this one. Do we? Uh, let's see. So we essentially one, two. I'm going to guess it's this. So we would do something like this, right? This needs to be, let's try two backwards. One, two backwards. One. Yeah, so that works, right? And then, you know, this can come to here. That's too cold. This can come into here. So that's cool. So I think that we figure out a way for the most part to be able to stack as many of them and be able to do a corner lift. Now a corner lift is more complicated than this because anyway. Alright, so now that we have these two here, let's get those here as well. So we'll have to start at the top. And yeah, we'll have to connect the call, but we'll do that later. Now the call will have to come in three 720 belts. So it's going to be slightly more complicated. Call will be more call, complicated. <laughs> we'll have a call, complication, <laughs> complication. That works, complication. Right, let's figure out our complication. <laughs> what are you even talking about? All right. Let's, um, so yeah, we have essentially this and this and this, right? And then this will come all the way to the front. have to be slightly careful. Ah, no, that'll be fine. So that would be the maximum, but I think that we need one, two, three, four, five. Actually, it would be fine to do to do it like that. To go like all the way down, because this is on the back, so this is the longest, right? But then, when it goes back down the other. can't be so one two three all right we'll just do four five six seven eight nine ten and then yeah 
it just needs to be drawn right along the ground. And then this one here, one, two, let's see, is that right? I think so. Actually, the limiting factor is actually how high this is. That should be okay. That should be good. So that's that one. Then it's then we have a third one. Okay. So that one was so one and two. See, there's a little bit more space for more coal, but not a lot, which is fine. I don't think that we'll <coughs> come back to this and be like, oh, this, this is not producing enough steel pipes. Maybe we will, but I don't foresee it happening right now. Okay. So that's good. So we'll draw this to here this to here so then we have it all nicely lined up right so let's go okay we can't afford that for what reason nah. right let's see what kind of other materials have come of course the other way to scale would just be to have them next to each other but i think in this case i kind of feel like stacking it Yeah, it's coming down there and then coming down here in like these waterfall kind of arrangements. Right. It might be a problem. Because that one isn't coming. No. It's leaving. Right. Since they have three queued up here, um, we can actually help these unload. So let's do that take all of this into our inventory and then we can sort it into the right places uh, I don't think I really need to put the iron plates away all right we can put the L clad in here all right let's try and find the steel copper sheet have most of it. Um, ah, we'll just leave it in our inventory. So yeah, when, when they're stuck like that, it's good for us to like help them unload. Otherwise, you know, we shouldn't. Alright, and this is this is basically full though. So that's a problem. Ah, that's why they are stuck. I see. Okay, um, what do we do here? Let's move the rotors. So rather than, okay. So we'll call this the rotor. And then do any undefined. Okay, then we'll put the rotors in here. And then delete that. 
that's why they were stuck. Which is why you want to be careful with some of these. And let's also move the reinforced iron plates over. I don't think there's more coming, but... actually start to put together some of the How the screws were split there. Interesting, right? Alright, so that's all of the construction materials delivered actually. So next time, let's see how much of this we can finish in the last 10 minutes. But next time we will. Well, the first thing is that we actually want to hook up the input materials and have them just like available at the entrance of the factory. And then, you know, we can the connection as a part of the guide that we're going to be putting together so yeah let's try and finish this bit just in the last 10 minutes see how far we can get um, and then we'll leave it at that for today I think we've we've made big inroads today because we've essentially connected uh, like we've delivered all the materials, done all the planning and so on, so it's just execution now. So that's pretty good. Alright, I'm kind of concerned that we already ran out of these things, but hey. I think these up and down lifters are just really expensive. Like, unseemingly. needs to come like all the way to the front. have to do a slight amount of lifting there but that's fine so then this one kind of goes like here for memory no go 
there's two in front of that. Yep. Alright, let's get this to here. She tells me that. No, it doesn't tell me anything. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are right. Okay. So that's this one. It would actually be cool to see them sort of horizontally spaced out as well. In this case, we just went with the verticality. Get all of that out of here. Alright, let's see. Can we get this all the way to the front? Yes, we can. Because I'm not as worried about getting these to the perfect location. Alright, and then this should just be a straight down. So from memory it was one, two. Let's get these um, lined up with the iron ore and then we'll finish. Alright, this needs to go to here, this can connect it to there. Okay, because then all of these can go forward to the same degree. Okay, take this to here. because um, the conveyor will actually count to have to go all the way back there. Right. Which is weird. But hey, that's the way the game works. up with that. Interestingly this is actually one in from that foundation but I guess that's just how that works. Alright so yeah this is where we will have all of the source materials nicely delivered to us and of course we'll draw it all the way to the top of that factory as the input um, and then we'll also connect the water up there, although you know, we'll, we'll do that as part of the guide as well. And then we'll have to connect that. But yeah, you can see that this looks pretty cool now. Um, like it's, if we had done this in a messy way, this factory would actually probably look worse because of it. But now it's just done in a very nice sort of stepped waterfall kind of way. Um, and then all of the materials get delivered over there, come all the way from over here. So. Yeah, we'll leave that up for today. So, thank you for watching, and until next time.